Hello and welcome to my thoughts on Discord in Time. If you haven't read it yet, you can click here and I'll read it for you. Alright, everyone ready? Let's go. Our story begins with the Cutie Mark Crusaders and Fluttershy going on a field trip. Wow! But of course, we can't have a Fluttershy story without Discord. So whoosh, she falls from the sky and crashes the party. So before we get into the main plot, we have a few scenes of Discord being Discord. Ha ha ha, very funny. <laughs> I recognize that probably sounded very sarcastic, but... <laughs> but I mean, he is genuinely funny. So when Discord asks to tag along, Fluttershy's all like, Oh no, this is only for Crusaders. But joke's on her, Discord is a cutie merc crusader! That's in a separate comic. I was going to do it before I uh, redid 24, but then I really uh, wanted to do 61 and 62. With a snap of his paws, paw singular, he sailor moons right into costume. And while we're here, I just want to point out, Discord is colored incorrectly. The gray fur from his head does not extend that far down his body. But I mean, also, this is the only time that mistake is made. And I didn't even notice it until I was ripping the ribbon off and redrawing his body. And I colored it back in and was like, huh, this seems wrong. No one knows the work I go through. Making sure all these pictures are accurate. Drawing in animations for you. <laughs> Man, I was here for way too long. I'm sorry. Back to the story. The girls go on their field trip. But it's so goddamn boring, Discord can't stand it anymore. He decides to hijack this trip, and Smooth talks Fluttershy right into allowing it. So he puts on a little red hat thing. I'm 98% sure this is a reference, but I don't know what it is. And then we make a second reference, but that gets, that gets kicked right out of the sky. And then BAM, we're in Not Egypt. So the Nightmare Moon, uh, what is the, what do I even call this? Rehash? Reference? Tie-in? This Nightmare Moon thing is kinda weird, but none of this plotline matters. The important thing is, there's a sexy cat here. Obvious reference to Bastet. I don't know why she has a little nickname, but Anubis is just Anubis. I don't know, who cares? She licks Discord, obvious joke obvious. I didn't want to make it a second time. I mean, I wanted to, but I didn't for the sake of originality. So I just said, nice. I'm sure literally 99.9% .9 of you have not watched the uh, first time I did this story. Basically all I said was Discord getting that pussy. It's a pun. Another joke I wanted to make was, huh, usually that's the other way around. But eh, there's just something simple and clean about nice. <laughs> Back on the topic of extra work I do for you guys. It's fun, it's fun. I mean, it's tedious a lot of times. I don't like drawing. But, it's worth it. But anyway, back in our time travel journey, we see some robot horses, some kelpies, not sea ponies. This is the OG shit. No hippogriff magic needed. And here we are, our final destination. Prehistoric Earth, filled with dinosaurs. And magical horned lizards, and apparently prehistoric ponies. We didn't see any of those, we just saw the goddamn dinosaurs! Also, apparently rocks has survived <laughs> all the way through to modern Equestria. Psh, they eat reptiles, not little ponies. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> I love that Discord just watches and lets it happen. Ah, nothing can go wrong, he's Discord. And the only thing that matters really is impressing Fluttershy. But man, for some reason she's just really pissed. Discord did all this just for her. Why is she so mad at him? But before he can figure out what's wrong, Fluttershy passes out from anger. But I mean also, probably because she's a super weak flyer. So Discord's all like, man, I gotta figure out something to make her happy. Then calls in her butterfly dragon. Butter dragon, that's what it's called. <laughs> butterfly dragon. Like, I mean, obviously, right? He calls it in just to appease her. He's not concerned about their actual safety. He can save her literally himself. He can do whatever he wants. But thanks to good old Hubert, Fluttershy is no longer mad at Discord. The end. So, I guess we do get to see some new animals? But I mean, they're mostly like, people animals. And I don't think Fluttershy cares about those. It's all about those sweet dinos and butterflies. So the Crusaders, uh, 
didn't really do anything. Maybe they could have been utilized to uh, do something important. Nah, they're just... I don't know, they're there. But I mean, maybe that's the point? Because this is supposed to be their field trip, but Discord just kind of... Like, he took this field trip meant for the girls and made it about him and Fluttershy. And then by the end, he's all like, I guess I'm not very considerate, I'm sorry. I mean, he doesn't learn a lesson, but I mean, at least he acknowledges it. So, you know, maybe the Crusaders did play their part. But, um, yeah, super fun. I like Discord, he was written very well, true to character. <laughs> I love making random Fluttershy sounds. <laughs> They're all perfect and wonderful, and obviously, I'm great. Oh wait, I was just gonna wrap it up, but no, I gotta talk about Bast. 10 out of 10, totally worth putting in. <laughs> the sexual tension was thick and juicy. <laughs> Can't take it back now. All right, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and until next time.